All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dowell. Hey, I saw this morning where, you know, President Trump is being asked the same question by the news media five different ways. And, and basically, uh, you know, the big thing is, is what do you think about Walmart not selling ammo? You know what I mean? Um, and then, you know, just going strictly to hunting rifles and all the other stuff. Hey, um, first of all, number one, he's a politician. You cannot ever expect politicians to speak against corporations. It just don't happen like that because if politicians speak against corporations, they are starting to get into <clears throat> their political support. And whether you like it, understand it, comprehend it or not, uh, these politicians They'll say anything they need to say in order to get selected or elected, excuse me. Um, but the truth is, uh, big corporations run this country. And they lobby, um, and it's, it's all politics, it's political. Also, uh, on the flip side, you've got the NRA that he has to worry about. Because if they start turning around and passing legislation to restrict uh, law-abiding citizens, because mind you, there are no laws on, on the books that are for criminals. Criminals, I don't know how many times, I do not know how many times you have to say this, and you can't get this through the thick heads uh, of these, these, these um, deranged, psychopathic politicians. Criminals do not obey laws. Law-abiding citizens obey laws. But what we're getting ready to have in this country, we're getting ready to have a grand so-called quote-unquote criminal cartel because now law-abiding citizens are, are getting to the point where they are not going to start obeying these laws either. And when you have citizens not obeying laws, then you got total anarchy on your hand, and that's the destruction of America right there. Because if you, I mean, in the circles that I speak with, and, and I travel a lot, and I go to a lot of gun stores, I go um, to a lot of ranges, I go and I speak to a lot of people in various areas, in various states. And the sentiment, especially across the South, and even in the North, um, when I was up in Michigan, and uh, striking them conversations up there on Green Bay, uh, in Georgia, um, no matter where I go, uh, be it in Texas and stuff, um, I get the same sentiments. People at gun gun shows, gun owners, gun gun store owners, and, and and the bottom line is they're literally sick and tired of the political gymnastics that's being played um, with the law-abiding citizens. That's like the other day when I was in the airport in Arizona. Um, I, I'm sitting up here thinking that wait a minute, you know, I have uh, a concealed carry license. Um, I'm in the state of Arizona where you don't need one. I'm checking a weapon, and I literally feel like the criminal. I feel like the criminal. I had to, I had this, this um, after I checked in with the airlines, they took my gun and walked it over to the TSA agent um, who proceeded to break the lock, I mean, break the key in the lock. Then actually had me, first of all, they, they were very restrictive about you going over there. But then when I got over there, uh, then when they broke the lock, broke the key into the lock, then they wanted me to come over to assist them in opening up uh, my luggage. Then they said, okay, okay, but you got to go away now. Isn't that amazing? But I felt like the damn criminal. I'm like, and then I looked at another gun owner and I said, do you not feel like a criminal, man? I mean, here we are getting watch tag surveillance, fingerprinted, questioned, and looked at crossways, sideways, and every other way, and we're obeying the laws, but criminal ain't. criminals are not obeying them. So all these places I've been, I'm telling you, all across America, and I ain't been to every place in America, but just the places I've been, I strike up this conversation all the time, and they're saying, damn it, what good are the laws when all the laws are for people who obey the laws? And the criminals don't obey nothing. So why should I obey these laws? Because I told them, you don't have to obey an unconstitutional law. You don't have to. Um, and so anytime they make any laws, um, there's thereby going to restrict law-abiding citizens from owning firearms, using it as a weapon to protect themselves um, against all enemies, foreign and domestic. You don't have to obey those laws, period. 
You know just well as I do, we talk about the Constitution all the time. But you know just well as I do that the Constitution is, is dead. If you don't believe me, the only, the, the only way that the Constitution is live to us is those of us who know what it says and we live by it. But you go to these court systems, Constitution, ain't, it, 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 is not, it is not in effect. It's statutory law. So President Trump has got a fight on two fronts right here. And he goes the wrong way on this. Um, you literally liable to start a civil war in this country. Because I'm telling you right now, the people in the South are not about to give up their guns. I know police officers in the South that support the citizens and said, we will never come and get your guns. And, of course, and then they were at the other, on the other end of, the, of their lip, they will say, and we know you ain't going to give them up anyway. <laughs> I mean... You're getting ready to start a war in this country that I don't think this country even wants because there's no way the government can win a war against the citizens of the United States of America. We got more guns in this country than we do people. And we need more guns. We need guns in every home dripping off the walls. That's what we need. But I tell you, this, you know, every single time there's a shooting, now it's all over the news media. All over the news media, but you never, ever, ever hear the news media putting forth all the people who carry guns and have saved people's lives from mass shooters, have saved a woman and her child at the gas pump for getting jacked, uh, gun owners who have actually stopped criminals. You never hear that stuff because it's not their agenda. Their agenda is the stop gun confiscation. That's what it is. And so, don't participate in no national registry. None of this good junk and garbage. Um, guns are always going to be at the forefront. And now the Democrats just flat out told you, we coming to take your guns. So I told you, the Democrats are so damn stupid. They have all but given the election to Donald Trump. President Donald Trump again. He's going to have another four years, I promise you that. Because I've never seen such bumbling idiots. And what happened to, um, uh, what's her name? Tulsi Galbraith. Why ain't she up there on the debate scene no more? She should be up there in the, uh, one of the forerunners. There's an establishment that they're still trying to work on in this country. There's an establishment. Let me tell you something, America. There's an old saying. You can have my gun after you pry it out of my cold, dead hands. And then there's another saying, too. If they come for your guns, give them your bullets. <laughs>